So I have some really exciting news. Thank you to everyone who voted for me in the Rimmel London contest because I am a freaking finalist. Yeah! I am so excited. I was like just checking my email before filming this and I just saw an email popped up from Rimmel London and I was like, it's like, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I made it as a finalist in the Rimmel London contest. I'm so excited. So I just have to wait a little bit longer and find out who the finalist is that gets to go to London and film at YouTube Space London and meet Rita Ora. And if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, I have a huge like NYX Cosmetics giveaway. I'll link it down below in the description bar so you guys can definitely check that out. But oh my god, I was just like freaking out. Go Team Rockstar! We might make it to London! Oh my god! All I am written all over this thing. Like I'm like, this is my thing. Like I love YouTube. I love Rita Ora. I've been a huge fan of Rimmel London forever. I, you know, so dude, getting into this contest yeah, as a finalist and possibly getting the opportunity to go to London, which is also where <laughs> That's like a place on my bucket list. Before I die, I have to go to London. Anyway, so, okay, I'm gonna get into this video, but I just wanted to say a big thank you. You guys are awesome. Everybody that voted, everybody that's been supporting me, thank you so much. That means everything to me. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten to be a finalist if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And moving on to this Miley Cyrus video, a couple of you guys actually messaged me or were commenting on some of my pictures on Instagram and you guys really wanted me to do a Miley Cyrus like haul video. Her clothing line that she used to have, it was teamed up with Max Ezria back in early 2000 something. I can't remember the year exactly, but remember when Miley Cyrus had a clothing line at Walmart and when that happened, I, I'm, mm, I'm a Miley fan, so I bought everything. Of course, it's at Walmart, so it's like a little bit it's inexpensive. Like most people could probably purchase some of those things, and I would just grab like a couple things like every week. Like that's how I did it. So I kind of like stocked up on all of her stuff. <laughs> and a couple people on Instagram were like, "Hey, I would really love to see what you still have from your from her line." So I was like, "Okay." I would love to film that because one, I love that line so much and two, I love Miley Cyrus. She's my girl. But sadly, I do have to say that I recently went through my closet before I saw some of those comments on Instagram and I did a clean out. Like I did a clean out and some of the Miley Cyrus items did not make it past the spring cleaning clean out. <sighs> so I hate to say this, but I only have a few items. Uh, to share with you guys, but I also will mention some of the things that I recently got rid of because I had to, I had to, and it hurt me so much, like, giving those items away because, I mean, I really love those items. I would wear them every week. They were just some of my favorite pieces of clothing, honestly. Like, who doesn't love a button-up denim shirt? Like, I mean, I had a light one, I had a darker version, I darker denim one <laughs> but yeah I just loved them too much like they had holes buttons were coming off or there were some massive stains or something from coffee or beer or something so I had to part with them but I will get on and say that these are some sweatpants they're like sweatpant capris and these are amazing and you guys have might have seen these in some of my videos I like to work out in these pants and I also like to like sleep in these pants or like when I'm lounging here in the apartment this is what I'm usually wearing I really really love these pants these are awesome I actually worked out earlier and I wore these and I need to wash them so the other item that I have are some shoes and these are some awesome flats I'm a huge fan of comfortable footwear and these are some flats that I really like these are the leopard print and they have some studs on them however I feel like after filming this video I might part with these as well just because I haven't worn Oop, I'll get back I'll get back to that here in a sec. I'm why I'm holding it right in front of my mouth. Um <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I love these because they're leopard print and they have studs, but again, I might part with them soon just because I don't wear them very much anymore. I used to wear them like obsessively, that's why they're so worn down and some of the studs are actually kind of coming off and it's just kind of falling apart. So that's kind of why I think I might part with these um, after filming this video, just because I haven't worn them in a while. Like, if you haven't worn something in the last like six months or so, I feel like it's okay to part with it. Even if it's something that really meant a lot to you, like maybe take a picture of it and save it that way. I like that I kind of went through my closet recently because now my softbox lights actually fit inside my wardrobe instead of on top of my wardrobe. And I don't know, it just, it, it makes life so much easier when you're 
you know, your space is a little bit cleaner. At least for me. I'm like, ah, I can relax now. But yeah, those are honestly the only items I have left out of everything I bought. And I bought, like, I bought the whole freaking line. Like, I had the cutest, like, flower print shorts, and I hardly ever wore those very much. But I also had, like, the Carrie Bradshaw-inspired, like, tutu dress. I had that one in black, and it was so cute, and I loved it. I only wore that one a couple times, though, because I honestly didn't feel very comfortable very comfortable wearing it. Um, sometimes I like items. I think they're really cute, but sometimes if I wear them, and I'm like, ah, I just, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it for me. Um, so I didn't really wear that too often, so that's part of why I let that one go. And the items that I really loved were those denim tops, uh, the denim button-up shirts. Those were like my favorite pieces, and when I got, when I gave those away, that was like the hardest thing. Like, I actually donate my clothing, so I just kind of put it in a bag and, you know, take it down to the place and, <sighs> yeah. And then the last item that I will mention that I really, really loved from that line was just like the simple white t-shirts with a graphic on it, like a logo or something, or not a logo, but like a graphic on it. The one that I had that I actually had two of these shirts were the ones that had, it was like just a white t-shirt, a uh, crew neck, I believe, and then it had like a, like, Rimmel London. It had a <laughs> it had a London photo booth thing on it. Or photo. Oh my god, I can't even think right now. I'm so sorry guys. It had a Rimmel London. It had a London telephone booth on it and it was really cute and it said call me. That was cute. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I have. This is what I have. And I also used to have like the matching zip up hood that went with these pants <laughs> that I'm shaking, but I don't have that anymore. Anyway, so that's what I have right now. I'll link a website down below where you can still find some of these items. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.